Too fun. Maybe those marshmallows gave him a tummy ache. Eh? <gasps> I've got chips and curry. It was a very weird setup. We have friends meeting us in Maine, so we only have time for five days in this state. And we're staying here at the Lone Pines campground, just on the outskirts of Burlington. So today we're going to Stowe. Home of the Von Trapp Family Lodge. Yes. And if you've seen the sound of music, uh, the Von Trapp family escaped the... Um, Austria. Austria and mm -hmm. came to... America to seek um, they were apparently they were touring in America and fell in love with Stowe because it reminds them of Austria so I'm excited to see some Austrian looking mountains <laughs> Mom's favorite movie was The Sound of Music, so we had to come here. It was like so close to it. Yes. So, we so we're here for your mama. We're here for Betty. And you can see the mountains over there. Apparently, this is not the original building. It was burnt down in the 80s, but the mountains over there, you can see. This is why the Von Trapp settled here in Stowe, was because it reminded them of Austria, and yeah. we have been to Austria. We've been there. And, Salzburg. Yeah. yeah, and what do you think? Those mountains are definitely... Oh, it's it's a spitting image of Austria. Yes, but you're you know, right. Same, different or different climate. Obviously, <laughs> yes. Well, because we were there in the winter. It was the coldest I've ever been. Here's your mum. Cheers. I love that look. Speed limit, horses at a walk. Vermont is home to more than 100 covered bridges, boasting more covered bridges per square mile than any other US state. I am fascinated by their storybook charm. I just love them. Another thing to love here in Stowe is their homemade chocolate, which we could not resist. Look, so this route we're on, Route uh -huh. 108, meanders past the base of St. of Mount Mansfield, Vermont's highest peak at 4,393 feet, and then climbs through Smuggler's Notch, the reported route for cattle smugglers and the hiding place for Lake Champlain pirates. What? Okay, that's cool. Smuggler's Notch is a three and a half mile long narrow pass through the Green Mountains. Lined with 1,000 foot cliffs, this winding road is closed to vehicles longer than 40 feet. We saw lots of signs warning RVers and trailers not to attempt it, and I can see why. There are a number of very tight curves around huge boulders. Back at the campground, we had a front row seat to the Christmas in July golf cart parade. <laughs> too fun. So fun. We should be waving at these people. They're all waving at us. We have been well informed that Church Street is a great place to visit in Burlington. It's kind of a cool concept. This reminds me of England. It's like high streets. Yeah. All pedestrians and I love it. <gasps> I've got chips and curry. Chips and curry? Chips and curry sauce. We were chatting with the guy there and he said... Oh, yeah. He said, come to Church Street and do the re-ra Irish pub. Right. That's like... So, 
Like, that's quite far away. Right. For him to send us here. Mm-hmm. You can, uh... Take the girl out of England, but you can't take me too far away from an Irish pub. <laughs> yeah. It's my go to deliciousness. What is that? That is a uh, Reuben. A Reuben? Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that traditionally um, Irish? The corned beef is. Okay. And this, this is. curry sauce is incredible. The best I've had. Of wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's better than most English rice. Really? Yeah. Vermont, baby. Vermont. We're way up here now. We're way up here. We're only yeah. we're less than 40 miles from Canada. We only have six days here in our next state of New Hampshire and we're staying in the White Mountains close to Mount Washington. Well, good morning from the Along the River RV campground and cabins here in beautiful Twin Mountains, New Hampshire. This is the Gosh, I'm gonna screw up this name. It's the Anna Musick River. I'll try and figure out the proper way to say that. How do you pronounce that river's name again? Amanusik. Amanusik. Um, we'd like to thank you, um, Rob and Michelle, for hosting us. This was quite a bit of a debacle. Uh, we had um, reservations down the road, and when we arrived, it was a weird configuration. We had to go around this building and then we went to park. Usually you back in an RV, but you had to pull in, unhitch, and then drive through other people's sight just to get away from um, the tree line. It's weird. It was a very weird setup. So after we did that, we plugged in our search protector and that's where it just started. We had some really bad electrics they didn't have a breaker. Long story short, we went up to the office and we got kicked out. <laughs> that was the most bizarre thing ever. The lady was so rude at the front office. So Deborah got on the phone and, and started um, calling other campgrounds. In the fourth try, this beautiful owner of this complex, Michelle, answered the phone um, and was able to save the day. So she got us in here with full hookups for the whole duration. And I gotta say, we became good friends. So thank you, Rob and Michelle, for that. A couple of nights ago, there was a big black male bear walking across, hanging out at one of the tent sites. <laughs> we tried to uh, we tried to scare him away by the using the drone. That didn't work. For about two hours, we were just um, shining lights on him. And oh, poor baby. Maybe those marshmallows gave him a tummy ache. He ended up uh, walking across the, the river here and we haven't seen him since. Cottages. Yeah, those are cottages. We're giving you a light so you can see up the hill there, buddy. Toodles! Thanks for so how many RV sites do you have? About 30? 62. Well, 62. I have 62 sites in total. Right. Um, 14 of them are the river. Okay. I've got six primitive tent sites. I've got the six cabins, one rental unit, and then the rest are the That's 30 awesome. and 50 amps. And it all goes along the river. Yep. I love that. <laughs> yep. I'm so glad we found yep. this place. So good. Good morning. It's a beautiful, hot, sunny day, and today we're doing something quite special. We are going to the top of Mount Washington on the mm-hmm. Cog Railway, which apparently has the craziest weather, and even though it's baking hot at the bottom of the mountain, at the top of the mountain could be blizzards. Yeah, and um, I was also Googling the, um, the weather forecast for the top of Mount Washington, and it could be extreme even more extreme than Antarctica and the Sahara Desert, which is quite 
crazy. crazy. So apparently it's like the, the east-west jet stream versus the southern um, Appalachian jet stream all converges right at the top of Mount Washington. So let's go check it out. Yes, I'm excited. Wow. So it was opened in, to the public in 1869. That was shortly after the Civil War. Morning. That is a spectacular moustache, and you should be proud of yourself, young man. All one o'clock departures. Please have your tickets ready and begin making your way to the trains. Once again, we're boarding all one o'clock departures. So this is Deborah and I's ride here, the Abenaki. It's a biodiesel one. We tried to get on the steam train, but we couldn't. And this is going to be our ride. But that's where we're going. We're going way on top of there. Thank set. you very much. Glad that's not diesel leaking out of there. No, it's just nice cold 34 degree water. Is it really? Yeah, 34, 36 degrees, depending is on Is it like water. an artesian well? Uh, it's uh, the am the Amanusic, there's a large pipe that's kind of covered over the grass. Oh, uh, okay. It goes up, fills it up on the other side. There's a smaller tube, some little black tube okay. on the side. It's pushing that pressure right up there. So it just keeps that tank full. And then this all actually drains back up over the bank. And Sweet. The there you go. Not wasting too much. Now we are about to be crossing over the Ambanusic River. For those on board who didn't know, this river does start off near the summit of Mount Washington in the lakes of the clouds. This is the world's oldest mountain climbing cog railway. These locomotives climb three miles and ascend over 3,500 feet. It's hard to comprehend just how steep this track is until you see the buildings pass by. We made it. Apparently, we picked the most perfect day. There you go. See. Good. All right. Well, that's a thing. Thank you. Come back and see me. Will do. Ooh, lovely. Thanks. Thank All right. Can we get the observation back? Yeah. Sweet, sweet yeah. We were so lucky that we had a clear view from the top of Mount Washington. Apparently, this summit is in the clouds 60% of the time. But today, the weather was perfect. ticket stop. Oh, wow. So, of course, I operate the post office, and that is our own unique postmark with our own zip code here at the top of the mountain. Oh, what, for me? That's for you. Oh, thank oh. you, Wayne. So, oh, wow. that is our current postmark. I love it. But in the old days, we had another postmark that said, this is the windiest place in the world, and it is of our train going across Jacob's Island. Wow. That's cool. So, I thought you might like to have Oh, thank oh. you. I have a little 
treasure box in my rig of, you know, the tickets and all that kind of thing. Cute. This trip exceeds all expectations. The views over the mountains in all directions are absolutely breathtaking. I don't think the camera captures the true distance and magnificence of these views. You'll just have to come see this for yourself. It's that wonderful. If you're enjoying watching our videos, Please let us know in the comments, we love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It really does make a difference to us. Thank you. We are rolling out of along the river campground and what an absolute treat this has been highly recommend this campground not only for the campground itself but for the, the owners who helped us out when we really needed somehow so thank you Robert and Michelle and we will see you again I do wish we could have had longer here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire but we will be back sit back and relax and take a look at how incredibly beautiful this place is